All right, hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Trading Bitcoin with your host, Tone Face. I come to you live. Today is uh, Thursday, uh, Thursday, December 10th. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. We had an awesome political show yesterday. Uh, All right, hey everyone, welcome oh, to another episode of Trading Bitcoin. My bad. And um, uh, yesterday was a lot of fun. And uh, Erica from Bank of Erica uh, convinced me to change flights and I will be heading uh, to Washington DC tomorrow uh, to participate in the big rally uh, over at the Capitol. Uh, I will be there. It's, uh, it could get a little crazy. Uh, so if anyone is in Washington DC and plans to attend the rally, uh, you may be able to find me there. Uh, this is mostly gonna be a price show. I, I, I like, like, honestly, the whole COVID thing is driving me nuts, but I'm not gonna talk about it today. And neither is the election stuff. But I will point out, this is the Trump rally. I will be there. Uh, it's time to, uh, you know, uh, before I get uh, F out of Dodge, uh, trying to do everything I can to bring sanity uh, to the American people. And if that doesn't work, then uh, it's all hope is lost, right? Like you fight for a little bit to make sure that, uh, you know, Chavez doesn't get elected and then Chavez doesn't get reelected. But then once Chavez is elected and Chavez is reelected, uh, there's really nothing else you can do. And uh, it would be time to get out before it's too late, uh, because eventually when Chavez gets reelected for the third time or hands it off to Maduro, uh, you won't be able to leave because no other country will accept you. Uh, so uh, the U.S., I feel, is at that edge and uh, it's time to go do something. So I will be there. Uh, the one thing I really should have bought during uh black friday and i thought about buying it but i didn't and i kind of regret that is one of these body cams uh i'm still thinking about buying it and i can maybe ship it to someone in dc now it doesn't have to be this one uh because the reason why i don't like this one is because of the giant base that i have to travel with um if i can find a way to do some research but i'd have to order it quick um if anyone is in dc and has a body cam uh, that could come in very, very handy uh, because the people that I will be hanging out with uh, and kind of documenting, uh, things could get very, very dicey. Uh, so it would be nice to at least have a record of uh, uh, the insanity that could go down. Uh, anyway, let, let's go to the, uh, uh, let, let's go to the charts. I got to figure this out. Uh, I'm sure a bunch of people are going to DM me after the stream is over. Uh, that they're in DC and I can like ship it to their house. Uh, but after I like buy it and ship it, like I wouldn't be traveling with this because of the inconvenient base charging. If I, if they only had this with a normal plug-in charger, like a USB-C charger that can charge one of these, uh, that can, you know, record all day long. Uh, also with a movable, I, I got to look for another body cam, uh, like the SD card here. It doesn't have an SD card. It has memory, 128 but I don't think it's removable and I, I just can't travel with this much equipment. But anyway, I, I need something like this because I can't like, like my phone battery will not last anywhere near this. All right, let's do charts. I, I promised I would only do charts and I'm already deviating from this. Yeah, um, Alex Jones is gonna be, uh, Alex Jones is gonna be with us as well. Uh, I'll meet him for the first time, never met him before. All right. Um, yeah, I don't have a GoPro either. Um, I, 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 I got because I, I don't normally do that. I don't normally like do crazy stuff like that. But right, twenty dollar GoPro chest mount. But I also need a GoPro, which is like four hundred. So anyway, uh, here is the weekly chart. As you can see, the weekly chart is on a serious pullback. Um, look. The MRI is an amazing indicator. I absolutely love it. Does it always time things perfectly? No, it doesn't. Um, I saw this giant candle on the warning arrow of the MRI. I got out of the market. I'm now happy I got out of the market. We're lower. When it dropped big with the MRI, it did bounce back and gave the impression that all, you know, moon, we're mooning again. 
But this is also why I never ever FOMO in on the first bullish candle after an MRI top, like the immediate the candle immediately following. This is never the candle I buy. I would, uh, as I was saying all of last week, I would need this week to go above current week to consider buying. And because we got up so much, I probably would not have bought either. I would have just set out the market, waited for a pullback. The pullback is now here. And this week is already more than halfway through. And if we look at the daily chart, uh, we can see that this is not a very good looking posture. We're once again below the middle of, uh, we're once again uh, below the middle of this horizontal consolidation channel. And if we make it to the bottom of the channel, there is some hope, some hope that the combination of the bottom of the channel and moving average will hold up the price of the asset. However, however, this is not a very bullish looking picture to me. Uh, yesterday was a pretty nice looking bullish candle. And I don't really remember what I said, but what I should have said was if today's candle is going above uh, what well, well, was yesterday's candle. So the way I would have phrased it was if tomorrow's candle is going above today's candle, I would consider this uh, pullback to be probably over. But today's candle did not go above yesterday's candle. And we are pulling back, which means I have no reason to jump into the market. I bet you GBTC's premium is still going down. Uh, it bounced up a little bit today, but the price has gone down a little bit. So uh, I'm in no rush. Uh, I now no longer feel stupid for missing my buying opportunity on this half a day. I still have some GBTC. Um, I, I did not get out with all of my GBTC. I would have had we gone higher. And I'm waiting to buy my dip. Uh, I would love to buy this dip in the vicinity of $16. That's where I'm looking at, $16. A, a dip all the way to 16, that's a three more dollar fall here from 19 that implies a $3,000 uh, drop in Bitcoin, which if we go to the daily chart, uh, a $3,000 drop takes us to approximately $15,000. That would, of course, put us uh, near the support area of the MRI. However, it would put us smack in the middle of two moving averages, which is not where I want to be. Um, if we fall below the 50-day period moving average, I would want it to go all the way down to the 128-day period moving average which currently sits at $13,500. If Bitcoin can go down to that $14,000 area, that would be my absolute perfect buy the dip. You can see the green arrow, which I put here a long, long time ago. I don't believe it would make it there by Sunday. So what I can do now is I can take this arrow that I drew there. I can move this arrow over. I can shorten this arrow for now uh, because this is what I'm looking at. I can take this arrow, I can slide it over to say Christmas and I can move it like that, okay? So this is where I'm not sure what's gonna happen in this area. That's why I'm putting this arrow towards the moving average and I'm putting this arrow from the moving average. Right now, I have, I'm pretty confident that we are gonna go all the way down to uh, the vicinity of 16,000 for a potential of this double bottom. I am uh, not sure if that's going to be enough or there's gonna be one more, most likely, most likely uh, we are gonna go one more. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this arrow, I'm gonna make it light red and I'm gonna make it really, really thin, like really thin. Where's my thickness bar? There it is, really thin. Meaning I'm not very confident in this, uh, but um, I would be very confident in this. I'll be very confident in a green arrow, but I'm not very confident in this little tiny red arrow, but I'm somewhat confident in this red arrow over the next few days. I probably should have uh, like given it a few more days like that, okay? So that's what I'm looking at from a daily perspective. Let's go to the short term. The short term looks pretty ugly, to be honest with you. Uh, this red star is telling me that there's a high probability of a profitable short trade. So right here, you see a red star. And uh, this was a break evenish trade, but then you got another red star. Uh, and then you had a buying opportunity right here with the warning arrow bouncing us. We're holding the support line. And this support line is getting ready to crack. 
this is not a good looking posture. This is as a short term trader. This is where I like to short assets. So I am, uh, and we're already below 18,000. Wow. So I am uh, pretty bearish right here and now, which I did this video like an hour earlier. I would have been bearish then too, uh, because we would have just started picking up this red star. Uh, so I am bullish short term uh, and my pullback is finally coming. Uh, I really wanted the, the, a clean pullback back here uh, in late November. I just wanted this to go all the way down to 14 uh, to give me the perfect buy because since I got out back here. I've now exited at a higher price than we are right now. So my trade worked out well. And I just got to make sure I pick up the asset at a lower price than I sold it at. That's kind of what trading is. You know, you buy low and you sell high while most people buy high and sell low. So this is going to be the big one. So right here you have a problem that is a nasty uh, line that if you break you tend to go down and go down hard uh, you kind of saw it here it's one of these lines you know you break this uh it didn't do it the second time but it did it the third time Maybe it won't do it the second time. Maybe it'll do it the third time. Maybe it'll do it to, I don't know, while I'm in the middle of a rally uh, on Saturday. I don't know because tomorrow is a, flight, is a travel day for me. Uh, this is how markets tend to do. They do the opposite as well, like right here. You know, you make a high, you make a, you make a high, you make a double top, and then very soon after that, you break and you break out. And then this is why I love buying the breakout. But just because I love buying the breakout, you also have to love selling the breakdown. Here's the breakdown. You know, it broke down, it gave you a fake breakdown, but it still broke down. Uh, these two happen too close to each other. So I wouldn't consider that a double bottom. They're too close together. These are also too close together, but not as close as these. Like even like two or three candles make a difference. Um, I can see a little bounce here. I don't think we're gonna like, like if we break this high, I'm bullish again, but I don't think we will. I think this will break down sometime in the next 24 hours. And the big problem is going to happen. What happens when we approach uh, 16,500? If we approach 16,500 again, um, if it wasn't for the combination of, uh, if it wasn't for this moving average on the daily, I would say, no way this is going to hold but because of the moving average there's a chance it can hold but that chance isn't huge uh, so if we approach 16.5 again i am looking for an accelerated drop down to the 14 15 thousand dollar area and then i'm going to start buying into gbtc again uh tone i see bitcoin balance on exchanges is down 1.8 percent still bit still bitcoin is three percent down but where is the logic i'm not exactly following your question i may have to look at those charts i'm sorry but i i don't think i can answer that one uh okay what else can we say let's look at other markets uh someone asked me what um what bitcoin dominance index i use i just use whichever one trading view has like i don't really care uh, Bitcoin has 99% dominance in fundamentals of every, of, of every other crypto project. So uh, the fact that idiots are leaving their uh, valuable value uh, on shit coins is just a matter of stupidity. It's not really, it uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, gold. Uh, gold took a little nosedive yesterday. Uh, I still think gold is okay. Uh, it's crazy how gold is now in a six month uh, decline which is more than I expected it to be. Uh, gold moves slow. And right now, like classic, classic charting, uh, gold rallied back to the area of the breakdown and got rejected. So if gold comes all the way back down to 1750, and remember, I have not bought back into gold. I missed my gold buying opportunity because I was looking at the futures and not the XAU. 
Had I been looking at the XAU, I would have, and, um, you know, actively trading and not um, tweeting about COVID and the elections. Uh, yeah, this was a beautiful swing trade. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, anyone that paid attention to the gold spot price uh, crushed it with this trade. Perfect trade. Uh, this is why uh, MRI is one of my favorite indicators. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I'm going to show you guys some cool shit after this. Um, anyway, uh, gold, I, I still, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just a futures trader, not the, not the spot trader. Uh, gold, uh, right now, I'm neutral gold. Uh, if gold gets back to this area of uh, 19, 1875, uh, I'm very, very interested in a long trade. S&P rallied a little bit today. What does that mean? I have no idea, uh, but I'm still bullish the stock market. Uh, considering that uh, MicroStrategies is a proxy for gold, uh, since MicroStrategies is a proxy for gold, I'm sorry, for gold for Bitcoin, uh, it's also down as Bitcoin is down. Um, because I have a bunch of my friends bought it at like right near the top and I'm like, don't do that. But they did it anyway, because they don't listen. Uh, someone asked for Tesla. What's your opinion about Tesla regarding your MRI? Let's go take a look. I have no idea. I have a look at Tesla in front. Holy shit, Tesla is a $600 stock now. Wow. Whoa, it was like $650. Uh, anyway. Uh, so MRI on the daily, there's nothing there. Uh, no, no, MRI is not helpful on a daily. It is a little helpful. MRI is in extensions. MRI hit an MRI top. Uh, I would have sold one to four day correction classic. And now it's rising into extensions. So we have brand new extensions. So here is the last MRI top. And this MRI top uh, kicked off three extensions. Extension A. I believe yeah it had to be extension a wow that completed fairly quickly extension b also completed fairly quickly and extension c took a little while so all these three extensions uh happened due to the mri top so those that stayed in the trade after the mri top or entered the trade after the mri top could have stayed through the extensions and this was their exit. But now we have another one. So uh, it can mimic it. Look, extension C certainly made you money off of the MRI top. So right now, I would still be bullish Tesla. I don't really have uh, an issue with Tesla. It's still looking very bullish. Weekly chart could give us a different picture. And it does. So weekly chart had an MRI top right here. And this MRI top kicked off three extensions. Those extensions ended here, here, and there. Okay. Uh, that's where the extensions ended. These extensions, um, this A, this B, um, are coming from the older uh, MRI. They're coming from this one. So this MRI uh, was able to uh, complete your extensions as well. Uh, it does start to get a little confusing. Um, this MRI here, extension C ends here from this MRI, extension A and B end from this MRI. Now you have another one. These are done. You have another MRI. You have extension C, extension A, and extension B finally ending, okay, uh, within the MRI. And then you have a third one, which is this one, which kicked off one, two, and three, and it's over. So according to the weekly chart, uh, there is nothing else, but we are working on a new MRI top. So the weekly is telling you to potentially get out, but, uh, but not that much. I would still be a little bit bullish. The monthly, however, is coming up on a monthly MRI top in two months. So that could be it. That could be it for Tesla, not permanently, and a more significant pullback. All right, I believe we had a, um, a super chat question. Uh, do you think, what do you think about Agen and LCTX? Okay, 
let's take a look. And after that, I got my own stuff to show you real quick. Agent, what the hell is Agent? Uh, okay, I don't know. What, oh, I'm in futures. Okay, that's fine. Agent, all right. Uh, monthly chart, useless. Weekly chart, bearish for sure. See, that's an MRI buy that doesn't materialize. And when an MRI buy doesn't materialize, it leads to the extension phase, which is bearish. Now, here is an MRI that did materialize and uh, came a, a, day, a week or two late, but certainly had a nice bull run. This is a pretty cheap stock at $3.37. Uh, the daily chart, uh, please tell me there's an MRI buy right here. Oh, and there isn't. Um, that's a pretty bullish here. I like, like no MRI. MRI is not very helpful right now here. So uh, I would be bullish on chart patterns alone. I mean, that's a beautiful reversal candle. That's a classic reversal candle. Um, those that want to learn more about how to trade this situation, uh, please uh, pick up the technical analysis class, but you get an amazing deal when you buy it next to the risk management class. Uh, I'm keeping the discounts uh, through Christmas, okay? Uh, the discounts remain through Christmas. Uh, so in technical analysis, uh, what I would teach you is that uh, one of the best ways to, oh, one second, let me just do something real quick. Um, all right, we have 400 watching. Uh, where was I? Uh, here. So one of the things that I would teach is uh, to buy right near the top of that candle. So you would buy yesterday near the top of that candle, and now you're in a nice profit. Uh, and I would already be raising my stop loss into break even, and we're good to go. And what was the other one? The other one was LCTX. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm assuming it's the New York Stock Exchange one, not the Tel Aviv Exchange one. Another cheapy, another uh, very, very cheap stock. Uh, the daily chart has topped. I would not be buying it based on a daily chart. You have MRI ending. You had MRI ending here. Look at the last time what happened. Uh, just look at the last two times the MRI showed up. You had a beautiful correction. Uh, it is a very cheap stock. But from the candle body of the MRI to the candle body at the low, uh, you dropped almost 20%. That's a 19% drop. That's pretty significant. That's not chump change, even for a $1 stock. Uh, you know, percentages are percentages. And if you use the body, uh, I'll even use the body open. I'm not even going to cheat. And if you go <coughs> MRI top to MRI, MRI buy to MRI sell, that is a 40% rise in the price. So... If anyone th says that the MRI is a shitty indicator, it's not. You just have to know how to trade it. And uh, sometimes it's a no brainer. You buy the arrow, you sell the arrow, but sometimes it's a little more complicated. Uh, right now, I would not be buying. This is certainly a topping pattern on the daily scale. Weekly scale, uh, weekly scale, it is pretty bullish. We're in the, we would be in the middle of uh, the MRI count, uh, the MRI sell on the weekly. Whoa, was that a combination? So this is the, the week of November 9th. If I go to the daily chart, oh, look at that, November 13th. So right here, you had a daily MRI top inside a weekly MRI top. I mean, that just, uh, I mean, if you watch these videos enough, you know what to do. This is literally the reason for MRI's existence to me is when I have a daily MRI top inside a weekly MRI top. Uh, that, and I know people that only trade these kinds of situations and they're doing pretty damn well. Uh, okay, Airbnb IPO. Airbnb and DoorDash IPO as well. I believe Airbnb ticker is B N uh, A B N B. There it is. I think it IPO today, right? Or it's IPO tomorrow maybe? Probably IPO in tomorrow. Uh, what about DoorDash? I think it IPO'd yesterday. There it is. Uh, see, DoorDash uh, IPO'd at a, at a ridiculous high price of 182. 
you know my rule, uh, 50% drops, but DoorDash is different because DoorDash, uh, I mean, COVID is probably the greatest thing to ever happen to DoorDash for their business. Uh, so uh, considering uh, communist governors are putting you in a cage in your own basement. And um, uh, so I don't see how DoorDash is going to fall 50%. But I do not buy IPOs. I do not FOMO into IPOs. I would wait. I'll try to remember to keep an eye on this. Okay, let me show you a couple of things real quick. Uh, let's hold off on audience questions. Uh, before I show them to you, hey, uh, just a reminder, guys, I am flying to Washington, D.C. tomorrow. I just changed my flight. Uh, this is really important. It's important. I believe it's important to the country. I believe it's important to me. And uh, before I get the F out of Dodge, uh, because uh, well, let's not get this video banned, but uh, let's just say... Um, uh, I, I, I don't want to, uh, you know, let, let me not say anything else. But anyway, I'm going to Washington tomorrow. That, I have a flight to Washington tomorrow. I have a hotel in Washington tomorrow near the Capitol. And uh, I'm going to be taking part in uh, doing my patriotic duty uh, while I'm still here uh, to try to uh, make things right for uh, U.S. children that are being born or to be born. And um, I would love to own one of these. I really, I, I was supposed to buy it for Black Friday, but I didn't. And what turned me off was the giant battery pack and uh, the fact that you can't insert your own SD card, which was weird. Uh, but maybe I'll, I'll look around today. Maybe I can still buy it last minute and ship it to some friend in DC who can then drop it off at my hotel. I get expedited shipping delivered tomorrow because the rally is Saturday. I don't know, because I'm, I'm not gonna, because I'm gonna be hanging out with some interesting people and it's gonna go late into the night and it's good to, you know, at least have uh, everything you do recorded because there could be trouble. Uh, not that I'm looking for trouble, that's the last thing I need, but, um, you know, um, something my mom always say, uh, uh, but it wasn't in English, so it's hard to translate. Um, uh, it was like, uh, I like, uh, God protects those who first try to protect themselves, you know, like, uh, like, like, don't, don't, don't depend on God to protect you. Uh, you know, put yourself in the best position, uh, for God to protect you. Uh, but in, uh, uh, but in Russian, it like rhymes. So, yeah. So you want to put yourself in the best position uh, to protect yourself. Uh, if you are uh, uh, clearly, uh, I won't have any weapons on me. Uh, so this is the next best thing. All right. Uh, let's see Bitcoin again. Yeah, I can't really say who I'm going to be hanging out with in D.C. But uh, the people I'll be with will be out late into the night. And um, and uh, and uh, radical leftist groups don't like these people. Someone's asking me to say it in Russian. Uh, yeah, because I do have a lot of Russian viewers. It's on Birizhonovo Bog Birizhot. Yeah, you know, I, I can't just keep talking on camera, right? I, I can't be that guy behind, uh, like, like, just sitting here talking shit without actually, uh, you know, putting some skin in the game. So it's time to put some skin in the game. Uh, it's time to uh, go to Washington and um, support. It's time to go to Washington and support the president. I mean, what what, what else is there? Yeah, let's keep Leah out of this one. <laughs> Will you get arrested? I hope not. I don't want to get arrested. All 
All right, uh, here's the thing I was gonna show you. So one of my friends that only trades the MRI, send me some, uh, he says, hey, MRI has been really good. So you send me a couple of uh, pictures. So here's what, by the way, in this video description, there is a link to the alerts. They are free. MRI alerts right now are free. I was supposed to launch the subscription service for the MRI alerts a year ago, and it's still free. So take advantage of it. Okay. So here's what we sent out, I believe. Uh, oh, this is uh, Binance. What the hell is this? I, I don't even know what this is. KP3RBUSD on Binance. I have no clue what the hell this is, uh, but whatever it is, uh, here's what it's done. And I guess it's a shitcoin IPO. I, I don't know what KP3R is, but whatever it is, here it is with the using the MRI. Probably some DeFi scam, but even DeFi scams uh, can be uh, used to profit from, uh, and the MRI could have helped you and there it is so that's one piece of god knows what uh let's see the next one this is whatever this is this is when did this come out this is december 7th uh called the top uh we're not going to cherry pick these we're going to do a lot here is uh a a v e uh also probably another uh shit coin another uh uh, something else. And also here it is MRI. And um, I should just pull them up. I mean, I have the pictures. I don't want to like type in tickers. It looks like MRI. Uh, and this is not even the MRI. I would, I would not short this. Uh, it's too much. It's too consolidating. I don't like to short the consolidating MRI, but look at the MRI buy off of the warning sign. So here's MRI on another uh, scam coin. And um, let's look at one more. I got a few of these. Uh, no, I think I looked at that one already. Did you send it to me twice? Oh, I skipped one. Oh, what is this? Don't tell me it's another DeFi scam. Uh, another, oh, banned, banned. Okay, that's not a DeFi scam. That's just a scam. And uh, banned, so here it is. Boom, MRI top. Boom, MRI top. So it does work on shit coins. Uh, what else we got? I think Coinbase is paying you to learn about the band scam, which is atrocious. I thought I looked at that one already. Yeah, he sent it out to me twice. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is Bitcoin futures. Okay, so this is Bitcoin futures on the CME, on the weekly. Uh, they hit an MRI top perfectly. Wow, look at that. So while the, the Bitcoin weekly chart of cash market did not give you the perfect selling opportunity, with the MRI because it was kind of off a little bit. So the uh, the MRI, here it is, it kind of like eh, threw a little few curveballs in here, but the MRI on the futures did great. Uh, look at that, perfect top call, uh, the MRI uh, in the futures market on the CME. Wow, I did not even know that. Again, if you're trading this stuff, you got to pay attention to all possible uh, price, uh, price mechanism oh look at that ethereum versus the us dollar see this is not a perfect sell for me uh this is extension b ending followed by extension c ending with an mri top ending so um if there was ever a lot and it's on a weekly chart i mean you only get this opportunity like once a year if you're lucky and uh absolutely perfect uh to get out of the market or potentially take on a short trade and you can see the prior two times the mri at a top here and here, they were both decent trades. Nothing to you know buy a Lambo with, but certainly uh, did a good job calling the tops that weren't broken for months. Months. These are weekly charts. Look, MRI calls the top. Took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine months on the body and 10, 11 months on the close. That's how long it took to break this MRI top. This one, one. Sorry, nine weeks, not months. So like two, three months. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Took seven weeks to break the MRI top. So there, it's useful. Uh, there's nothing more I can say. And we have, oh wow, we have a couple more. Uh, that was Ethereum. Here's Litecoin. Another useless uh, waste of space. 
Uh, and uh, here it is, calling the MRI top. That was the warning. That's the MRI top. And we're going down. And what else we got? Uh, platinum. Wow. Wow. Look at platinum. This was uh, daily. That's the daily chart of platinum. Uh, look at that. That was the warning. So the beginning of this week, you already know you're going down. And um, nice call on platinum. Look, it didn't fall much. It felt like 50, 60 bucks. But still a nice 5 to 15% move <clears throat> on platinum. Well, <clears throat> off the MRI top. Um, not bad. And one more, this is soybeans for those that are trading soybeans, which is probably half of you. Well, I don't mean half, half, half the people watching. I mean, half a person watching probably. Uh, I've never traded soybeans for the life of me, but if I was to trade soybeans, I would trade it with the MRI. Uh, here is a nice MRI sell. This one didn't materialize, and that's fine. Not every trade is going to work out. But boom, right into a double MRI, two consecutive MRI tops. Definitely took down the market. And uh, this is not a very good-looking posture. While this is an MRI buy, and it is sitting on support, I would certainly be taking my profit from the short trade. Uh, but if we break this, uh, I would be cautious and consider it to be maybe a double MRI top in the making or double MRI bottom in the making, I should say. All right, so those are, uh, thank you for that. Um, good, sir. And um, oh yeah, maybe I can buy a body cam here in Miami. Uh, someone just hit me up with a link. Um, yeah, maybe I'll stop by a store and uh, buy a body cam uh, here in Miami or a GoPro. No, I'll probably buy it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's better. I used to have a GoPro. I had no use for it. It is small, which was convenient. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I have to think about that. I have to think about that. Uh, can you give your thoughts about the crypto index fund, BITW? Let me close a bunch of these. I've never even heard of it. B-I-T-W. What the hell is this? Oh, it says Dash. I'm like, holy shit, that's the shit coin. No, but it's DoorDash. Uh, B-I-T-W. I, I have no idea what this is. Uh, Bitwise 10 crypto index fund. I would have to uh, look at the spec of this. Uh, so I don't know what, what it involves. I have no idea what it involves. So I have no opinion. It just launched. Uh, is it like Bitcoin plus nine shit coins? Uh, I, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. So I have no opinion. Yeah, uh, Tesla is going to the S&P 500, so I'm not, so there's no, um... GoPro is cheaper, really? Because a body cam is only like a hundred and something bucks. Yeah, but I'm not gonna have time to like learn a GoPro. Well, I guess I have a, I have the flight. I can just read the manual on the flight. Uh, yeah, I can take a look at coffee. I, I, I always find coffee fascinating. The price chart of coffee. Uh, affect commodities and futures. Coffee is crap. Which one's coffee again? Is it KO? Which one was it? Oh, what happens to uranium? Sure, which one's coffee? Yeah, KC, KC. There it is. Uh, KC daily, coffee daily, not interesting. Uh, what about weekly? 
uh, still not interesting. Uh, nice top here, nice bottom here, geez. Uh, decent bottom here, not a great top here. Uh, no monthly. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, I have nothing to say. Like coffee doesn't look interesting at all. Beautiful green, oh, look, there's all these green arrows right there along the bottom. Um, all right, guys. Oh, give me one second. I have to reply. Sorry, I had an important uh, text message. Okay, um, that's almost it for me. I will um, spend the rest of my day. Um, I, I don't understand why Facebook needs to be broken up. I, I, I don't get it. Like, um, I, it's not even that they need to be broken up. It's it, like the laws are all freaking backwards. The government needs, to, uh, you know, let's not get political. I don't want to get political. Uh, anyway, I'm in the market for either a body cam or a GoPro uh, because I am going to the rally in DC. It's going to last all day on Saturday. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll see some of you there. Uh, maybe I'll see some of you guys there. By the way, if there is a rally, if there is an anti-mask rally anywhere in the United States, uh, because it's hard to leave the border these days. Uh, so I would be interested. I'm not saying I would go, but I would consider it. So if there are any anti-vaccine, anti-mask rallies, uh, kind of like what I tweeted out, um, I would be interested. Uh, like, uh, oh, shit, I never tweeted out the link to this video. Damn. Damn, I knew I forgot something. I never, I never tweeted out the link to this. Shit. All right, hold on. I'm gonna do it now. Wow, I can't believe I didn't tweet out the link. I'm such an idiot. All right, there it is. Just tweeted it out. So, um, yeah, I tweeted this out yesterday. Uh, like I said, I don't really want the show to get political today, but um, so this is what was happening in 1918. So the the people that understood that masks don't really do anything uh were uh you know like people died uh like anti-mask league uh mass anti-mask league mass meeting ends in battle royale like people actually got like stabbed and uh and died uh trying to uh save the world from wearing masks the rest of their life and their children's lives and stuff like that so uh yeah i i, I am anti-mask and um, I think they don't do like crap. Uh, they should be worn in certain situations, like a doctor that knows how to properly wear it, puts on a brand new mask. But this mask thing is out of control. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's bad. It's uh, changing people's mentality. So, uh, and it's creating a compliant population that uh, has created this like by being so compliant on the mask orders, you're now going to get forced uh, to get vaccinated every six months uh, for the rest of your life uh, for, uh, 
a virus that has almost no chance of killing you and uh, barely any chance of giving you any long-term damage. And, uh, uh, and it's just the, the worst slip. It just it created the worst slippery slope ever. Uh, so frustrating. So if there are any anti-mask events, uh, I would be very, very interested in coming out and supporting the movement. Doctors wear masks. Yeah, doctors have a reason to wear masks. Doctors also know how to wear a mask. You don't. You have absolutely no idea how to wear a mask. Like your bandana over your face is not a doctor's surgical mask. Do you wash your hands every time you touch your mask? Do you put on a brand new mask every time you take off your mask? If the answer is no, you have no business wearing a mask. None. A doctor puts on a mask. He doesn't touch it. The next time he touches it, he throws it in the garbage. So if you ever take your mask off to walk into a restaurant, that mask better go right in the garbage and you better have a brand new mask on and you better have sanitized hands before you put on that mask on your face and you better have sanitized hands before you take that mask off your face. And the moment you touch that mask, that mask better go in the garbage. That's how a doctor wears a mask. Do you wear a mask that way? I bet you it's not. All right, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to know how bad the lockdowns are, please see my latest tweet, which refers to this awesome uh, Twitter thread that now has, you know, uh, 1.6 thousand likes. And it basically breaks everything down on how bad the how many lives have been destroyed uh, by the lockdown. And how many more lives will be destroyed by the mandatory vaccines? Because uh, one of the biggest, uh, like the greatest thing to take the developed world, developing world out of poverty is uh, tourism. And tourism has just been shredded. It's been shredded by power hungry, uh, tyrannical communists that just want to lock you in your basement. Destroy tourism. All right, that's it. I already went off political that I wasn't supposed to. Uh, thank you all for watching, guys. I'm done. Um, maybe I'll see some of you in DC. Uh, I'm going to that rally. Already got my flight. Already got my hotel room. And we go from there. All right, guys. Let's, um, let's do our part while we can uh, because uh, your vote will not matter again. Like, this is the last time you like Technically, your vote didn't matter this time because the election was stolen. But uh, your vote may never matter again. So this is it. This is like the last, the, the, the last chance you get. I wonder if that last statement is going to get my, my YouTube channel banned. Maybe it will. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I'll talk to you.